Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar on LTE, Global Trends and Operator Strategies. My name is Paul Lambert, and I'm an analyst with Informa Telecoms and Media's Operator Strategy team. I've been tracking LTE launch strategies since the first networks were launched back in 2009 in Scandinavia. Since then, I've been tracking how operators are launching and positioning LTE in their markets, as vendors and handset manufacturers have been rapidly evolving the technology. They've been successfully doing this by extending the availability of LTE through a mix of lower equipment prices and also through expanding the size of the LTE equipment market, bringing about in the process a rapid decline in the cost of this equipment, in particular for LTE smartphones and other devices. So last year's webinar focused on LTE launch strategies, what was working and what wasn't, and today's webinar is intended to be an update on how these strategies have developed and how consumers have reacted to them. It's been fascinating to track the evolution of the LTE market over the past 12 months because I've seen many of the approaches that were bringing success to LTE operators in 2012 develop and evolve. From a very high-level perspective, I think it's indisputable that LTE vendors, vendors have individually and collectively absolutely made good on the promises of this ultra-fast and more spectrally efficient mobile broadband technology. And it's fair to say that the LTE market, large as, large, large as it is, is still in its initial phase of development. What I think that means is that we're at a uniquely interesting moment in the tra trajectory of the mobile telecoms industry and how it is extending its role in society. And LTE is absolutely central to this evolution. So coming to today's session, this webinar starts with a detailed snapshot of the global LTE market, which I plan to speed through so we don't get too bogged down in the numbers. And then I'll move on to look at, in more detail at the effects LTE is having on operator KPIs and the main reasons why. 